Hello everybody, welcome back. So I broke down and bought some things from Electrics to test them out. The first thing I'm looking at is their Smart Cute Bot, which runs between $35 and $40. It is powered by our microbit, which is not included. So you gotta get some microbits. But let's see what's in the Cute Bot. So in our packaging, it comes with a line follower track to use with one of the sensors. It comes with this nice letter of thanks. It has a guide which has some programming challenges in it to utilize the different parts and show you the code. They sent me this nice little micro bit case. And then this is the cute bot which comes with an add-on HCSRO4 distance sensor and a battery pack to use AAA batteries. I also bought the um, lithium ion battery pack to go so it's rechargeable and that was I think $14. So here is the QBOT. Let's look at what we got here. Um, so we've got from go, go from front to back so we've got some RGB LEDs uh, which is nice because in the code you can just pick colors or you can pick RGB values so you can look at that that kind of code for them the hex code well it's not the hex code but 0 to 255 for each um, R G and B and then we have uh, the front here on this black plug-in is to plug in the HCS 04 and then there's a second one it says that there and then there's a second one to plug in a second I squared C device then here's where you plug in the micro bit here we have some pins for pin 19 and 20 so we can get another device there 3 volt in ground obviously we have the battery pack going there here are our motors an infrared uh, sense detector I'm thinking signals from like remote control kind of idea I don't know on off switch always good to have on off switch here is where you could plug in two servos so that's nice that they have um, add-ons you can add more things onto this more sensors more parts um, like the second I squared C the 1920 which I thought was I think was I squared C but I haven't played with it in a while a um, couple of servos so you can build onto this and then pin one and pin two are broken out here. So again, you got some places to add on. Now they've got these screw mounts here, which I'm thinking is a place where you could mount some add-on stuff. Um, motor there, da, 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 da. yep. And then let's flip it over, see what we got down here. So we have two line tracking sensors and they tell you that they are pin 13 and pin 14. Nice thing to tell you that. And then they're here are two NeoPixels and they are on pin 15 and you need to know they're on pin 15 because when you add the NeoPixel extension to um, make code and you tell it that there's a strip of NeoPixels there, you gotta tell it what pin they're on so it knows how to run them. Um, and that is it for the bottom. So Nice little device. It's got again. It's got an extension in um, Make code called Cubot, Electrics Cubot, which has you know some of the blocks already for you. But then to use this, these two NeoPixels, you're going to need the uh, NeoPixel extension also. Um, if it didn't, and it it does because it comes with an ACS04, it's got blocks in there for the HCS04, the ultrasonic distance sensor. But if it didn't, that, again, that would be another extension. But it does. So there's the beginning of the cute bot. We will get to it and play with it and talk some more about it. Thank you.